With Barry's inaugural football season approaching, the campus has been abuzz with preparation. And with a new team comes many additions to the athletic facilities. Coach Koncheski explains some of the significance to these additions. Oftentimes this doesn't happen. And believe me, we try to remind our guys that we're very fortunate. And that's the better way of doing things. So we're, we're, we're pleased with the way things are going so far facilities-wise. Over the summer, Richard's gym was transformed to a full training facility, complete with an indoor turf, new weight room, a brand new locker room, updated offices for the coaching staff, and renovations to the dance lab located in the gym. These renovations have given the team an opportunity to put their best foot forward. There's a lot of players that are standing out, uh, specifically with the defensive backs. I know Malcolm Graham is having a great camp. Um, I see the wide receivers a lot, so I know that Chris Lilly and Josh Bullock are doing a great job. Players and coaches are looking forward to the inaugural season as a time of growth. You know, I get that. I get asked this often, what, what are your goals for this year? Well, our goals for this year is to get better from game one to game ten, and it's about the process. The team is heading into this program focused on their current challenges and obstacles. Many of the players, like junior punter Paul Ulrich, understand that there is still a lot of work to be done, but he is optimistic about the season and how the team is shaping up as a unit. This is a first-year program. We can't promise you that we're going to be Alabama, because we aren't. But we can give just as much effort as Alabama gives on that field, and I think we're going to get that with the guys that we have. Coach Masters said that although the team has a final goal in mind, they are not yet a finished product. If you're trying to get to a destination, you can't look at the destination. you got to look at the road that you're on. And we want to focus on the process that it's going to take to do this. And this isn't going to happen overnight. The Vikings' first game is September 7th against Maryville College, where all their preparation and growth will continue. For Viking Fusion Sports, I'm Courtney Fox.